Mental health care experts say for some kids, life is a great challenge. The clinical profile of these kids are these are what, what we would call some of the toughest in the system, right? And it's not always easy to help them. Just to lend a hand to kids like the ones at the juvenile home in Toledo. You need a broad array of supports and services. So many of the young women that have come to Toledo, in essence, I believe that the system has in many ways failed them. That's because long before troubled youth, many of whom have mental health issues, get to places like juvenile homes, physicians say they should have received more care. We have to go back and look at our entire system and see how we can strengthen it to help kids along their journey so they don't even need that level of care later on. The main issue. Financial restrictions almost always mean very limited resources. We do not have enough uh, service providers, particularly psychiatrists. And when you focus on child psychiatry, that pool gets much smaller. That means that all individuals, but especially children with mental health issues, can struggle their whole life. Bridging that gap isn't easy. We need to find ways to get partnerships with our mental health uh, community and our schools to see that these issues are addressed earlier. There are many different areas of a child's life that in order for them to be successful, they need to be fulfilled and have their needs met in these different areas. The experts say the first step is getting people and their legislators in a room, learning more, asking questions. Advocate for what you know is the right thing. Um, if this is an important issue to you, then speak out. Your voice is powerful. It does make a difference. For some, that difference could be life or death. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Kevin Barry, CBS2 News.